Hello students, we have completed Plasmodium vivax life cycle. Plasmodium vivax is causing malaria. So we have completed its life cycle in man and also in mosquito. So after completion of its life cycle, we have to know about the pathogenicity of the malarial disease. Means what are the symptoms when we get malaria. So what is the pathogenicity? During this malaria, when we get malaria, three stages will be there. First one is cold stage, then hot stage and sweating stage. In cold stage, we'll get shivering. And in hot stage, we'll get fever and headache. And in sweating stage, we get profuse sweating. So these three stages will repeat. Cold stage with chills, shivering. Hot stage with fever and headache and sweating stage. So these three stages will repeat when we get malaria. And sometimes what happens if the disease continues for a long time, it leads to anemia. Anemia means loss of blood. Why loss of blood? Because these parasites are destroying our RBC. It is eating on hemoglobin. So we will get anemia. And splenomegaly. Splenomegaly means abnormal enlargement of our spleen. Spleen is an organ of our immune system. So our immune system will not be proper if you get continuously malaria. So we have to take immediately treatment. First we should avoid and then if we get malaria we have to get treatment. And what is the treatment? Nowadays, we are using quinine, which is an alkaloid uh, extracted from the plant Cinchona officinalis. The name of the medicinal plant is Cinchona officinalis. From the bark of the plant, we get an alkaloid, which is called as quinine. It is used to cure malaria. And how to avoid getting malaria? That we will see in profile axis. So, because... Malaria is spread or malarial causative organism sporozoic is spread through the bite of the Anaphilus mosquito. We have to control Anaphilus mosquitoes. How to control? First one is by spraying insecticides like DDT and PHC, benzene hexachloride and introducing insectivorous fish like Gambusia and plants like Utricularia. So by using these uh, fishes and plants, they eat away the larva of the mosquitoes in the stagnant water. And we should use mosquito nets and we should avoid stagnant water by using uh, or by spraying some type of oil like kerosene or pyrethrum oil in the stagnant water. By this, the larva of the mosquitoes will be killed. So like this we have to stop the spread of mosquitoes. So when we are studying about the life cycle of Plasmodium vivax, we have come across the structure of sporozoid and we have studied the function of convoluted tubules are till not known. So students, even now in this advanced age also, there are a number of things which we do not know. Number of diseases for which there were no medicines, for which there are no uh, proper cure. So I encourage all of you as your biology students to study well and try to be a research uh, student or research scholar to help our country. Thank you.